Hello friends, in this video you will learn what you mean by isocons. We have already learned indifference curves. Isocons are very similar to indifference curves. All that we have to remember is that indifference curve showcases consumer utility whereas isocons showcases the producer's production levels. It is always easy to understand economic concepts if you think yourself as that economic agent. As we are talking about producers here, you think of yourself as a producer. Now think that you are interested in producing chocolates. Let's say that you want to produce exactly 1000 chocolates in a given day. Now if you wish to produce 1000 chocolates, you can either use laborers and make them work for the entire day to produce 1000 chocolates. Or maybe you can use a machine that produces 1000 chocolates. However, almost all of the time as a producer, you would want both laborers as well as machines produce the chocolates. Sometimes you would want more of laborers or sometimes you would want more of capital. Your demand for capital and labor would depend upon their respective costs. Keeping this in mind, let's plot this on a graph. On the x-axis, we have laborers. And on the y-axis, we have capital. Now, as we discussed earlier, to produce 1000 chocolates, you might sometimes want more of capital and less of laborers, or less of capital and more of laborers, or maybe both of them in the same proportion. Notice, whether you use capital more or whether you use labor more or you use both of them in the same proportion, you still end up producing 1000 chocolates. When you join these points, you get a convex curve. This curve is called an isocont. Here iso means same and cont means quantity. Hence isocont means same quantities. Hence. To formally define isocont, we can say that isocont curve is that curve which shows the different combinations of two factors yielding the same total product. In our case, the total product is 1000 chocolates. One thing to remember is that a higher isocont showcases higher level of production. So an isocont like this, you can clearly see that to produce 2000 chocolates, you would require more of capital and labor. In the next video, we will learn about ISO cost curves. That's it from this video. Thank you for being patient. Until then, adios, hasta la vista.